Hello everyone, welcome to The Cat Lady. In this adventure horror game, you play as Susan Ashworth, and as it says on the website, Susan Ashworth, known in her neighborhood as the Crazy Cat Lady, is a lonely 40-year-old on the verge of suicide. She has no family, no friends, and no hope for a better future. So from that description, you can probably imagine it's a very dark and depressing game, and that is exactly what it is. It's very dark, and it's very disturbing, so if if you're, you know, if, if you're faint of heart, uh, you might want to not watch. It's pretty graphic and disturbing, and it's definitely a downer. So the Cat Lady is available from many places, including Steam, GOG.com, and Desora. I'll have links to all of that in the description. You can even buy a physical copy if you're some sort of weirdo who still does that. I'm actually not going into this game blind. I actually saw someone play it for a few hours a while ago, and I was really intrigued by it. I liked a lot of the things that it did, but I was also turned off by how some of the puzzles were designed and just some of the things about the game. Didn't quite grab me, but other things did. And anyway, I was definitely intrigued with it, but... It's one of those games that I just kind of forgot to bookmark and kind of just forgot about. But one of my viewers, Spectre Von Baron, actually recommended it to me, and that kind of refueled my interest in it. And it showed up in a sale, so I figured, why not? And anyway, even, you know, even if the, the puzzles and all of that are kind of frustrating, and, you know, even if there's some things about the game that I don't like, I think it's worth taking a look at simply for the fact that, one... It's very dark and disturbing, which I like. That's, that's that's something I really like, as weird as that is. I like very dark and disturbing things. But also, the fact that it explores mental health and, and mental issues is something that games just don't do very often. And I really like the fact that they're actually exploring that in depth. It's not... You know, some A lot of games will have it. Maybe not a lot of games, but some games will have mental health as uh, an element in the story. But in this case, it is from what I can tell, pretty much entirely based around uh, or based in the head and the issues that Susan Ashworth is dealing with. So I think that's really interesting. Now, as always, I like to go slow and take my time and analyze things a bit and, you know, think about the games that I play. That's kind of my play style, so I will be doing that as usual. And before I get going, let me just say, I decided that I'm going to post the first video of the series on Christmas Day. I figured, what better game to watch, what better game to see, than an incredibly depressing game about a depressed, suicidal woman on Christmas Day. It's the perfect Christmas movie. You should play it for the whole family. Play the game, watch videos of it on Christmas Day, just cheer yourself, cheer yourself up. So, Merry Christmas to everyone. Merry Christmas. Let's start a new game. My name is Susan Ashworth. I live alone in this old two-bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Some would say it's a lonely life, and I guess that's true, but I don't like people's company. Not lately, anyway. I only trust my cats these days, and I will miss them dearly, but they will understand, like they always have. Teacup stays with me till the end. He watches me, as if he knew. Because earlier tonight, I swallowed a whole bunch of pills. They're legal, of course. Prescribed by my doctor for my sleeping problems. But I've taken 34 of them. All I could find in the cupboard. And now the room around me spins in a blurry tango as my heart slows down.
Any second now, I will be dead. I feel calm. I'm ready for it. I've only got one thing to say now. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. Chapter 1 House in the Woods Here we go. Do you feel cheered up? I feel pretty cheery after that. Ah, it's so uplifting. So I wonder, where are we right now? Are we inside of her head as she dies? Is this in the past? And what we just saw was the end of the game? I don't know. Coming out of the grass, or the wheat, or whatever that was. What is that? Is it wheat, or is it just grass? I'm not sure. Anyway, coming out of it into the sunset, I think. There's a feeling of finality about this right here. This is the end. But ironically, it's actually the beginning of the game. Which is a very interesting place to start from. Ooh, a building. Yeah, and by the way, I did, I did watch someone else play it, but it was a while ago, so I don't remember... I really don't remember all that much. It's a tattered flag. Yeah, this whole place looks like it's just... About to fall down like it's been here forever. With no one taking care of it. Neglected. Oh, here we go. Press up to... Okay, think. Yeah, okay. I feel strangely drawn to this place. I must find a way to unlock this padlock and get inside. It's locked. Yeah, of course. Alright, gotta find a key, or something to break it open with. Whoa. That's a change of location. It's obviously blatantly not the real world that we're in right now. Looks like a massive car wreck. And blood everywhere. Is this ceiling about to cave in? I get the feeling that it is.
Thank you for the jump scare, creator. Open interaction menu. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can't go any further. This ambulance is blocking access to the tunnel exit. Maybe there is no exit at all. Huh? Well, let's see what's inside of the bloody... <laughs> the bloody ambulance. It's gotta be something that's gonna cheer me up even more, right? Let's see what's inside. Yeah. It's locked. Um... Oh, didn't mean to examine it again. I guess I have no choice but to go back. Huh? What's making that noise? Hello? Who's there? Answer me! Is someone tapping on the inside of the... of the ambulance? Oh. It's me. Look closer. It's me. My cold, dead body right in front of my eyes. What is it doing here? I don't know if I want to look closer at my own body. I have a feeling its eyes are going to open. Examine. I look so calm. Turn the head? Ugh. No, let's not open the eyes. Let's open the mouth. Oh, a key. Is that a key in her mouth? In my mouth? I better take it with me. I guess I now know how to get inside of the building. I still feel like the ceiling's gonna collapse. Nah. <laughs> I think it is. Yeah, let's run. Am I alive? Okay. I even got that close to it. Let's go chase it down. I could just go straight inside, of course, but no, I want to find it. music just got very, very strange. Come back here! Where are you going? Well, I just realized I'm in a totally different place than I was before when I went back here. Looks like the car's on fire or steaming or something. Oh goody, it's me again. Hmm. Door 
a rope in my body. I guess I'm gonna have to get her down, or <laughs> get me down. My dead body, hanging from a tree. I should be scared, but I just feel empty. Wait, what's that shiny thing on her neck? Is that a key? The body's too high. I can't reach. Yeah, I gotta get her down. Or get, get me down. The rope is tied into a knot. Untie it. It would take me hours to undo this knot. Okay, so I need something sharp. Maybe there's something in here. The door seems bolted from the other side. Never mind. Okay, I guess I do need to go inside of that shack. I can't remember this place. Am I lost? Yeah, <laughs> this is different now. Go away, you stupid crow. No one likes you. Ugh. Crudely sawed off heads of animals. It looks like their eyes have been ripped out. What a gruesome display. At least it's not my head stuck on the bars. It's locked. Oh, great! I'm locked in from both sides. I guess I'm following the crow. Or not? Should I follow it? Let's keep going to the left for now. I can always go back to it. Okay, well I obviously can't do anything here, so I, yeah, I guess I'm gonna follow the crow. You want to race, Crow? I'll race you. Hmm. Okay. Just went back. I don't suppose this is unlocked now? No. Right, so there's obviously something I need to do with the Crow. I still can't do anything with this, right? No. I mean, if I go back to it, it's just gonna do the same thing, so... happened by going right at a certain point I managed to get to a different spot now I'm back here I don't know how I did that but okay I finally get to open the shack I think assuming that's what the keys for which it probably is and hopefully there'll be a sharp implement inside
it's locked. Well, yeah. Oh, press down to, oh, wait a minute. Press down to open inventory. Oh, okay. Okay. There we go. Where did I, where am I? No, this doesn't look like a creepy place at all. No. What am I hearing? Uh, the hell is this? The hole has been boarded up with these planks. The sign underneath says, Emergency power switch. Danger. Look through. There's definitely something there. I can't tell for sure, but it looks like a switch. Pull the boards off? I'm not strong enough to pull them off with my bare hands. Machine. Too long a sacrifice can make a stone of the heart. Would it take another sacrifice to turn it back? Maybe I'm being silly. This is just some old machinery after all. Let's switch it on. Although I'm sure it's not going to work because that thing back there said emergency power. How strange. There doesn't seem to be a single switch or button on this machine. How do you turn it on? I guess with this hole that I can't open. Okay, so there is nothing in here I can use to cut down my hanging body. So where am I going to find it? It's got to be somewhere back here. I did manage to go to a different place. Somehow. Maybe there's even another place I could go. I think I'll just keep switching scenes and then going to the right and see if, seeing if it's the same scene. Alright, so that one is. This one's got the big rooty tree. Yep, same one. This one's got the car. Now it's different. And it's always different every time I come back to it. I haven't seen the crow. Alright, there it is. There it is again. Now we're to the left and then the right. Now we're back here. So, what if I scare it to the side? Then scare it off again. I notice she looks to the right when that happens. I wonder if that's a hint. But hold on, what if I go to the left and then go to the right? No, what the? We're back here. Yeah, she looks to the right, so I'm going to go to the right now. Mm, no. It's 
see now, this is the sort of puzzly stuff that I was talking about that kind of turned me off from the game a bit. This just take me back, right? The field? Yeah. What else could I try? Really nothing around here, huh? Can't untie it, of course. Yep, still nothing here. Still need something sharp. What if I go to the right and then the left? Maybe something will be different. Nope. Right, so if I go right here, it just takes me back, right? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. Is this different? Oh no, it's back here. Yeah. The gate that I can't open. Now it's there, what if I go right again? It's just the same gate. I don't suppose it's open now? Of course not. I don't even know. Okay, I'm gonna cut here and I'm gonna return when I find something. Okay, I just found it. I just needed to keep following it or something. I don't even know what happened. I just kept following it. The crow, that is. This must have been where the animals were processed that went on the gate. Ugh. Disgusting. Who's done this? Is there anyone else here? <laughs> There's my knife. Bloody knife inside of a deer. Ugh. Even the crow doesn't want to stay here. Let me guess, it's locked. Oh, this is the other side of the door that's... Yeah, it's gonna take me here. <laughs> I went around in a circle, even though I only went right. Alright, let's cut this thing. Let's look closer at my dead body. I look like I'm just sleeping. Search your pockets. Empty. Take the key. Alright, so this key would be to the gate, right? Yeah, it'd have to be to the gate. Let's see, how did I get to the gate? Hmm, the crow's gone, actually. Maybe I don't have to do anything special. Just keep going to the right? Yeah. The gate is here. Great. 
The outside is so welcoming, I can't wait to see what's on the inside. Hi. Welcome to my house, Susan Ashworth. I have been waiting for you, my dear. I knew you would turn up one fine day, Lexus. Who... who are you? I have so many names, it's hard to pick one. But I'm curious, who do you think I am? Hmm. You're an old lady who lives in the woods. Are you God? I, I really don't know, can't you just tell me? Hmm. Yeah. I'm not gonna play your stupid game. I don't know. Just tell me. I really don't know. Can't you just tell me? That's very much like you, Susan. You won't even try. You have given up on everything lately, haven't you? Why shouldn't I? Is there a great reward for trying? I didn't think so. Would you have tried if I had told you there was? Maybe. I don't know. Something that could change your life forever. No, there isn't. There never is. And yet, some people do great things to find it. I'm afraid I'm not one of them. What is this place? What is this place? This, my dear, is my humble kingdom. And this house is my castle. I rarely invite people in, just like you. I like my solitude. But you are a special guest, and I'm going to make an exception. Me? Special? I can tell you now that there's nothing special about me, lady. Don't bring yourself down, Susan Ashworth. Today, you are my guest of honor. Alright, what happens next? What will happen next? It depends on you, Susan. Inside my house, there are dark hallways that lead to places you don't want to see. But there is also something that will make you want to return to where you came from and cherish every single little breath you take. I'm going to make you an offer, Susan. It's a chance only a fool would refuse. Okay. An offer? What can you offer me? Let's come inside. It's getting cold out here. I notice she has disturbingly long arms. Whoever the woman that I was talking to is, or whatever she is, I don't even know if she's a human. She does kind of seem to be, well, death. Can I just leave? No. <laughs> okay. I just realized, by the way, can you save? You can. I haven't saved. Does it autosave? I don't know if this game even autosaves, so I better save. Type a name. Uh, one. Let's look at the painting. A lonely seashore. Sally sells seashells on the lonely seashore. Touch Please it. Please don't touch anything, dear. I wasn't going to. You lied to the whole world, Susan. And you lied to yourself. I was totally gonna touch it. Is she really here? Maybe this is all just a dream after all. Now 
We can talk properly, my dear. I still don't really know who you are. I still don't really know who you are. I go by many names. I've never paid much notice to what the living call me. But there is one name the Fallen Ones use when I speak to them. I find it most accurate. The Queen of Maggots. Is that what you are? Why... Maggots? Because they feed on what's dead and gone. Dead and gone? I guess that's me. Is there anyone else here? Is there anyone else here? <laughs> I thought you liked being alone. Isn't that why you ran away from everyone? It doesn't matter. I was standing right behind you when you threw away all those photographs, you know? I brushed your hair every night you cried yourself to sleep. I saw everything. I know what you want, but it's not here. It's gone, and it will never, ever come again. Hmm. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Will I be punished for taking my own life? Most people would be, but not you, Susan. You see, I watched you long enough to understand how you feel. I don't expect you to believe me, but I actually have sympathy for you. Who knows, I could be your only friend. The only friend in the whole wide world. So like I said, I'm going to make you an offer. I want to help you. I will give you back your happiness in exchange for a simple task. Your life will change completely. You will be yourself again. And you will soon forget the sadness that has consumed your heart for years. My only friend, the Queen of Maggots. Okay. I'm sure whatever the offer is, is going to involve doing horrible things, probably. I mean, really, what could the Queen of Maggots ask me to do that wouldn't be horrible? Can you paint my house? It needs a fresh coat. No, it's probably like, can you go torture children? I find it amusing. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Yes. I think it's time to explain. But where are my manners? We're still in the hall. This is not a place for a serious talk. Follow me to the next room. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Oh, she's gone. Can I touch it now? Oh, the option to touch it's gone. What the hell? Ah. Uh. What's your offer then? What can you fix that life has destroyed? Susan, death can fix nothing. But though we are both dead, I am not death. I might seem just like a strange old woman to you, but I'm just as powerful as gods. And I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I'll need you to go back and face five people. They're not ordinary people. They're very special. Just like you. Only in a slightly different way. Five people. Okay, what do you mean face them?
kind of want to go with the first option. I'm a failure. Why did you choose me? Because, yeah, why did she choose me? What's so special about me? I'm a failure. Why did you choose me? I'm a failure. Why did you choose me? Aren't you afraid I will let you down? Whatever it is I have to do. Most days, it's enough of a struggle to crawl out of bed. I don't see the point in anything. I just want to disappear. And I hate everyone else because they know how to be happy. Everywhere I turn, there are people filled with hope and will to live. Or people so pitiful, they make me ashamed to be alive. I don't want them. There's nobody there for me. I am alone. I just want to vanish. This is the very reason I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I know how you feel, because I felt like this myself for a very long time. You and me are very much alike. If you succeed, you will never feel broken again. And who are these people? Those five people. Who are they? The Parasites. That's what I call them. They don't know each other, but their destinies are bound together. You will have to keep your eyes open and be constantly on guard. Those people will want to get closer to you. They might even pretend they are your friends, but don't let that fool you. They have nothing but cruel intentions. They'll want to hurt you, Susan. They'll want to kill you. As homeless as they might appear, parasites are the evil scum of the earth, and they all deserve to die. Isn't my life bad enough without them? Don't be frightened. You will have a great advantage over them. They don't know that you know. Do you understand what it means? You will become my hunter. Serving punishment for their sins. A tool of destruction. A dark angel walking through the river of blood. You find your purpose in life and you see for the first time how satisfying it can be. But how will I recognize them? There isn't a great deal of people in your lonely life, is there, Susan? You will know when you see them. Bring those deceitful bastards in front of me, and we'll make them regret for everything they've done. Are you expecting me to kill them? Are you expecting me to kill them? No, Susan, I'm expecting you to fight for survival. To do everything you can to defend yourself. I know you're not a murderer. Quite the opposite, actually. You're a good person. But I also know that you don't want to suffer. And those people will want to cause you pain. They won't hesitate. In the end, you might have no choice. Think of it as gardening. If there were weeds among the flowers, you'd pull them out, wouldn't you? You'd get rid of them without thinking twice about it. I'm not really a gardening type, but I see your point. I'm glad. And remember this, you are not the only victim. If you don't stop them, the killing will continue. Innocent people will die. You have the opportunity to make the difference. And the chance to save yourself. What makes you think I want to go back? What makes you think I want to go back? I finally did it. I killed myself. That's all I ever wanted. And yet, it turns out to be just another failure. I want this suffering to stop. Dear, dear. 
dear Susan, you don't realize that the suffering never stops, do you? It only gets worse. This place is a passage between the world of the living and the world of the dead. You enter one of these corridors and you never come back. But you don't cease to exist. You remain. I can't do this. It's too much. Dealing with criminals is a job for the police, not someone like me. Indeed, you are weak. That's why I have prepared a special gift for you. Immortality. You cannot die, Susan. You will always return to life, no matter what happens to you. What? This is the last thing I wanted. Please, can't you just let me die? I've made the decision. As long as they are alive, you cannot die. Well, damn. I just realized the game is trying... It's They're kind of like hanging a lantern on the save system, I think. That's my immortality, the save system. <laughs> or something like that. Pretty clever, actually. It is basically blackmail. It's very strange that... Someone or something making me immortal would actually be a bad thing, but in this case, it... Well, not necessarily a bad thing, but the opposite of what you want. It's... blackmail. You can't do that. I'm doing it for your own good. Anyway, you are in no position to bargain with me. You will either go and do what you have to do, or suffer for eternity. Forever unable to find your peace. Right. So when you said this was an offer, what you actually meant is that I have to do it, and it's not an offer at all. Okay, then. Well, I'm glad we've established the boundaries of this relationship. Also, once again, look at her arms. The strange woman on the right. We are basically exactly the same height, but her arms are much longer to a disturbing degree. It's very strange. Okay, I'm staring at their faces and I'm wondering. Do you think there's a chance that they're the same person? Maybe that's crazy. But she kind of looks like me. She kind of looks like me. Huh. I don't know. Maybe not. This all must be just a weird dream. I don't believe you. Susan, see this door here? Let's go inside. I want to show you something that will help you make up your mind. Follow me. Okay. Let's follow the Queen of Maggots. Yes, it's you, Susan. Come closer. Say hello. I don't want to look at it. Haven't I had enough yet? That body in the ambulance. Then the forest. But this place is... This is exactly what I was trying to run away from. I don't want to be here. Make it go away. I assumed it would be wise to give you a little taste of the suffering you'd endure. I want you to understand that you can keep going long after you count.
Do I actually have to look at it? I think I do. Crucified. All alone. In one place that's changed it all. I really don't want to be here. Crowbar. It's stuck in the cross. I suppose I could easily pull it out. Susan, it's time to make a decision. The parasites are coming whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. You must stand up for yourself. I take orders from nobody. I'll do it my way. I take orders from nobody. I'll do it my way. Don't you understand? There is no other way! Well, I don't know that. Besides, you could be lying to me. How do I know you aren't? I'm no murderer. I don't want to be. I'll find another way without you. What? Look, I appreciate you giving me another chance. Don't get me wrong. I can see now that I've made a mistake, and I'm ready to try to fix my life. But I really don't like what you're saying. If there's one thing I learned in life, it's that people let you down all the time. If I don't rely on myself, I can't rely on anyone else. You fool! You damned arrogant fool! You have no idea what you have just done. But fine, have it your way. In the end, I will be the one laughing at you. I always am. <laughs> Insult her. Be sarcastic. Or apologize. I'm not going to apologize to the Queen of Maggots. Be sarcastic. Yeah, don't laugh too hard, old woman. You might break something. <laughs> when we meet again, you will beg me on your knees to give you a second chance. I don't really believe in second chances, so I might have to disappoint you again. Look, this is all just a bad dream. I want to wake up! I'm back in the house. Okay, it'll be fine. I don't need her. I'm sure I'll figure out what to do. Well, I know exactly what to do with this crowbar. Pry off the boards at that machine. Look at all these candles. Strange. The flame seems strong and steady, but there is no smoke. Hmm. Whoops. I can blow them out. Uh, do I want to? Hold on. How many how many parasites did she say there there were five and there's five candles I don't think I want to blow them out Ew Queen of maggots has a bit of a maggot problem A lonely seashore I've got bigger I can't problems get these what the hell are they, anyway? They're... gigantic maggots. Alright, I guess I need to blow them out. There's nothing else I can do, is there? Because I can pry off the painting? Nope. 
All right, time to get blowing. They left me no choice, Alice. Maybe one day you'll forgive me. I think I just caused a person to kill themselves. And now there's kind of groovy jazz music playing, which is very strange. I could continue to blow them out. But I can just go outside, so let's not do that. What the? How did I get back here? Why is there jazz music playing? Maybe it's not jazz, but it's definitely kind of groovy. And we're back here. Okay. This might surprise you, but I don't really want to stick my hand into the bloody hole. But it's also the only thing it appears I can do. So... Yeah, no switch. Reach inside. Yeah, yeah. Emergency power switch. Danger. It's dark inside. All this blood around the hole. Was someone he hurt here? I think so. I, I think maybe someone was hurt here. Maybe. Should I do it? Okay. Here we go. Yeah! I turn on the machine! <laughs> I kinda lost my arm. <gasps> and the door just closed and I'm kinda losing blood. That looks painful. Well, finally brought it to life with my blood. Or the button. Maybe it's just delayed. Hey, the door opened! Great!
the Cat Lady. Merry Christmas, everyone.